Hello everyone, I'm Alex. So I want to start this video off too cheery because it's alleged that Alphabet might have not been on this planet anymore, might be on another place like heaven or something. That's me trying to get around YouTube's filters, by the way. I'm sure you can work out what I was trying to say there. This video is going to be a rocky ride. We've done so many videos on Alphabet, so if you want to see more videos on it, don't forget to subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. We're trying so hard to hit 400,000 subscribers. So every subscriber bloody helps, mate. So it'd be cool if you joined us. So thank you for that in advance. This video has a lot of sensitive topics in it, so just a little warning there for anybody who may not want to hear any of this stuff. Um, it's weird as always, it's Alphabet, and uh, this one's quite deep and honestly really messed up. Hello, I do want to clear some stuff up, um, but I am actually in the hospital and um, I can't believe people are actually saying I'm dead and posting on social media that I fake to coming to hospital. Now, it seems that a rumor was posted online that Alphabet had, in fact, um, gone to a better place. Probably actually not. Probably would have been sent to the worst one, if I was to hazard a guess. I'm guessing. She might not have. I don't know. I don't know how God works. I don't know him, do I? We're not mates. We should be. I'm quite similar people, and um, I feel like I'm like him in many ways. Now, she does mention that people were saying that it was fake. And to be honest, you might be like, oh, why would people be doing that? Why would people say that Alphaba, the famous attention seeker, might be faking something for more attention? Why would anybody in their right mind do such a crazy, wacky thing? The reason why is because Alphaba, first of all, on her Instagram story, posted this picture. Now, as you can see here, it's a picture of an ambulance assessment area. But when you skip through this video, and you go onto Google, the same image is one of the first thing that pops up when you Google images like this one. So Alphaba took that image, downloaded it, and posted it on the story for sympathy. Then I'd assume what happened is she was called out, rightfully so. People are angry, rightfully so. There's somebody faking a hospital visit for interaction, for clout. So they called her out, so she had to go to a hospital, walk in, and I guess tell them that she had something wrong with them so that like it didn't seem fake anymore. It's no excuse. Why would you download an image of something when you're sat in the hospital? You just wouldn't do that. Like imagine being sat in the hospital and going, oh, um, I want to tell everybody I'm in here for attention, obviously, like I'm a teenager. Um, like I'm a little year seven. Um, oh, slow replies, guys, I'm in the hospital. Don't, oh, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh, post out your story, like in your in your deathbed. Yeah, slow replies, guys. I'm just in hospital. Yeah, oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I, I'm sure I'll be okay soon, guys. Thank you for asking. Slow replies. Slow replies, guys. That was my impression of somebody in the hospital bed. The budget on this channel is incredible. She's clearly just like taken this picture for attention and then rushed to a hospital after she started getting backlash because she's realized she's gonna have to like actually back it up when she goes live the next day. But it gets even weirder. Watch the rest of this video. It's so strange. That's all I'm gonna post. This is all I'm gonna show you. And I'm getting help. And the help isn't even good, so there you go. Wow, what a nice thing to say about our NHS. I didn't sit there and clap every day for that. For Alphabet to talk down to people who actually work really hard, a job that I do not envy. I would not want anything like that. The strain the NHS is under, and Alphabet goes in there attention-seeking like a fucking idiot, and then has the gall to take the mick and make a comment about how it's not even great help. How can they help someone like you when they don't even know what's actually wrong with you because you make it up all the time? What's somebody meant to do? And this is where it gets really serious because what Alphabet has decided to do, I guess fake from what I can see, and this is my opinion, she has faked the idea of injuring oneself for attention online. You guys can judge for yourselves, you know, the videos are coming up and yeah, I think they're really silly. Alphaba accidentally shows a video of her supposed bad arm. Realysis is the wrong video and ends the live.
As a says in this video, lying about this when there's people who struggle daily, when will the mocking end? Yeah, it, it's horrible. Right, it is really messed up to do this as a cry for attention. To then also have to go in like and waste the NHS's time. Do you know how hard it is to get an appointment? Like it, it, it's it's a nightmare. To go into A&E or anything along those lines and bullshit people around like this and then realise that you've accidentally exposed yourself so you've got to end your live stream in the hopes that nobody saw it, which obviously they did, it's just insane to me. We've got another video here. Oh, no, 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 no. All I can say is, is if you wanted me to prove myself, i prove myself now. i prove proved myself I was in hospital. i prove proved myself that... Mm -hmm. Which I didn't really need to show on live, but I ended the live stream. I wish I didn't show that, because that, those videos weren't for you guys. That's for my camera roll. That was for my family and my friends. Yeah, that's why you post it on your Instagram story, because it was for your family and for your friends. I hate this, man. I really hate the attention seeking that this TikTok life thing has created. This like never ending hellhole of just like, I don't know, skullduggery. What else can you explain it? It's like pirate level shit. These people go on live and they just do the lowest of the low and then they try and make money off it. And then they, they walk to the bank with a big like sack over their shoulder going, yeah, yeah, I me mean, I mean be living. And the NHS fucking sucks. It's disgraceful that Alphabet goes around acting like the big I am, posting stuff like this, and then comes on live, and she just always has something to make up. Like, I waffle. I speak a lot, right? People say I've got the gift of the gab. Um, and I say thank you for that, mate. But Alphaba just can never be in the wrong, can she? She's always got an excuse for everything. I ended my life because of this. There's no scars because of this. There's nothing here because of that. Oh, and, and my, this was for my family, not for you guys. Uh, so, you know, and I, oh, I'm so righteous that everything's, oh, yeah, don't worry, guys. Oh, yeah, uh, oh, I've got an excuse for everything. Just stop. Quit. Seriously, stop posting stuff like this because it's clearly affecting you so badly where you're going mental posting stuff like this. This is not the sign of a sane person, right, doing something like this. This is a sign of somebody who needs a readjustment of reality, who's clearly losing grip on what's real, to the point where their life has become this weird, fictitious play for the internet. And it's just strange, and I don't know how anybody in real life could even bear to know somebody like this. I showed you I was in hospital because, you know what, I wanted to prove that I was. And people always say I lie. And when I'm actually not lying, people don't believe me. So they ask for the details. And then people come at me when they get the details. They say, oh, it's too much information. I don't want to see that. That's so funny. When I'm not lying. Just admits to the fact that they lie all the time. Yeah, so people are always saying that I lie. But sometimes I don't lie. But sometimes I do. Just, like, have a day off. Have a day off of this. This clearly can't be good for you. I I'm speaking directly to Alphabet now, if you're watching this. Have a day off. You need to take a break. I'm not joking. I don't care how much money it makes you or whatever. This is insanity now. Like what you have pulled this stunt is mental. Because if it, you have done what I think you've done, which is post a fake picture on your story, then have to actually go to the hospital, waste people's time, keep up the act in the hospital with the NHS staff, then shit talk said NHS staff for not treating you over something that you don't have, then showing an arm on stream saying, this is where my um, SH is, and then there being nothing, having to end the live, and then you're just covering and covering and covering, and you're covering and covering and covering, and you're constantly covering yourself over and over and over again, and every time you're failing, because number one, we're not stupid, and also you're you're clearly an idiot. Like, I don't understand why you would keep on doing this to yourself. You get exposed every time. None of your lies ever stick. Nobody ever believes them. So just give it up. Genuinely, you have to let go of this for real. But you asked for it in the first place. And that's what really annoys me is that don't ask for the evidence if you can't handle it. You didn't show us any evidence, though, and you de you, you deleted your life because you know that you don't have anything, and you're not showing evidence. This is mental because she's now using this as an... I'm actually pissed off. I'm genuinely annoyed at this video. That's why the commentary is not so on it. I'm quite fucking angry at this one. Like, I don't like this at all. I'm not going to go into why it's personal, but, like, this woman fucking sucks, okay? Like, how much of an evil person do you have to be to make up a life where you can't show it, where you you go, people in my life said it'd be too triggering, so I can't show the proof. 
You've got an excuse for everything, can't you? You can't show us the proof because imaginary people who left imaginary comments that none of us have seen said that they would be so deeply offended if they saw the pictures. So therefore, you're actually doing such a good thing. I'm such a good person. I'm elsewhere. I'm so good. I can't believe it. Everybody sees right through this now. And they did since the beginning. So why carry on? I don't get it. It's awful behavior. Draw on your fucking player this. Here, can you see? Oh, you've got to be taking a mick. I, I, I hate to be making a video on this, debunking something like this, but I think this is actually terrible to people who genuinely go through stuff like this, okay? Right, it's a bit of a weird video I feel like to make. Like, I, I put this one off for a bit, because I was like, how do I even tackle this without it just being a bit weird, like I'm overly obsessed with this person's life? But then I realised that the effect that this has on teenagers who get fed this shit on TikTok, it's disgusting. It's horrific. You know, people like this are going to call other people into question who go through stuff like this for real. And I'm not just talking about all the other stuff, right? You know, Alphabet makes a mockery of people who suffer from so many disorders. Faked having autism. Faked self-harm. It's horrible. Because teenagers watch this shit, and it's grim. Because they shouldn't be. <sighs> I'm actually annoyed. Like, genuinely annoyed at this. Like, I'm actually pissed off. I can't believe... Don't... Does somebody think this is going to actually work? Like wasting the time of the NHS from people who actually deserve it and then also shit talking them when this is what you went in there with is insanity. That's mental behavior. Fucking cuckoo. No, of course you can't. It's a fucking shit lighting. It was cat scratches. It was never bad. Okay, so it's still harming yourself. It's still wrong. Oh my god! Because the lighting is not okay. I don't know. Turn another light on then. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. And then, oh, it's still, it's still not okay. All right, like, yeah, I right, don't dig your hands into your skin. But don't go to the NHS with that. That's absurd. It's not that bad. I said that! I can't. I, I really am. You can't sit there and be like, I said it's not that bad when you wasted the NHS is time. If it wasn't that bad, you wouldn't have taken yourself to a hospital. You wouldn't have downloaded an image and posted it on the thing. You've clearly done this and a poor attempt as well, which I don't know what's more pathetic. The the actual attempt to try and convince people that you did go to hospital for this. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say more than I already have. I don't know what else to add to this. This is insane. I know what's more pathetic to not like fully fucking go through with it after you tried to make up a lie like this, that you're so that uncommitted to the bullshit that you make up. It's insane to me. Like it's actually insane to me. Uh, the whole thing is mental. And the account TikTok for real. I'm, I'm not even joking. Like this needs to be removed off the internet. You can't encourage this person to keep on doing this. You just can't. And I don't know why it's just, like, not reported or is an oversight or something. Like, not only has Elphaba put other people at risk because she has gone out in public with scabies this last week, not only does she scam viewers by changing the memberships up on people, scams disabled viewers of hers as well, taking their money off them, taking money off people who aren't quite all there, intentionally, by, like, tapping them up for gifts, and then pulls this, which could like genuinely affect like your young teenage audience that you apparently care about and that you're gonna have a duty of care over. It's just horrible. How many things does somebody have to do before they get terminated? There's gonna be at least four different community guideline violations in there. My girlfriend Alice uploaded a video on TikTok the other day and it got community guidelines striked instantaneously because we said the word fuck. This is okay, apparently. Gaming video where you say fuck at Freddy Fazbear, that is off the cards. I'm getting real tired of this, getting real annoyed, and I really hope something is done about it. It's absolutely ridiculous, and um, I'm bloody fuming, and it gets even weirder. So we got this Reddit post here um, that links this video and then talks about a lot of stuff. So um, let's watch the video, and then we'll go through the debunking. I'm not perfect, but I'm not racist. I'm not lying about awesome. I'm not racist. I, I said the word when I was 17, okay? I shouldn't have said it, but I said the word in defense of someone. Go look at the video yourself. Um, I never lied about being um, essayed. And on top of that, with the autism interest thing, it's very misunderstood that like, you don't really fucking know my life. And on top of that, with the SH, I don't need to show you my arm. It's there, but it's not visible on camera because it's not good lighting. I'm not going to show you, though. 
And it's not that serious on my arm. It wasn't serious on my arm. It's the fact that I wasn't well. Do you understand? The ambulance came to me because I wasn't talking right. I was delirious. So they came and they saw things on my arms. They took me to hospital. You wasted an ambulance call on being weird. They'd be coming to your house every day, surely, wouldn't they? You just have to watch one TikTok live. I've just seen somebody comment you lied about liver damage. Is there anything this person has not lied about? Like, for real? But I didn't, like, go right deep into myself, okay? So if you're going to look for that kind of stuff, that's fucking messed up. And I'm not going to show you my arm. And then somebody said Tourette's. Oh my god, the list just, like, never ends, mate. You lied about autism, you lied about Tourette's. I'm reading the comments, and it's just people listing stuff off. It's like it never ends. This list is, like, bigger than my average Tesco shopping. You don't need to see that. So fuck you. So fuck you. Yeah, fuck you massively. Fuck you. Go fuck off. You know what I mean? I'm just going to tell you what to fuck off. That's what I'm going to do. Just fuck off. To phone an actual ambulance over this stuff is um, next level just uh, craziness. Just to commit to, like, a bit. You know, I've seen Alphaba pretend she has so many disabilities, so many disorders, all of them fake, Tourette's, autism, everything. And then I can't imagine what she possibly did to the people in the ambulance. Probably turned up and was probably going, Ooh. I mean, I'm like mental. And I went, okay, we've got to take him away because clearly they are a lunatic. Well, I don't know if Alpha has ever read the story of the boy who cried wolf, but maybe she should. Maybe she should read that because the boy who cried wolf ends up um, not quite liking how it ends up, I think. Uh, he, he doesn't like that. Um, and I can very much see something similar happening here, okay? What happens when they do send you to the loony bin? What happens then? What happens when they do lock you up in Arkham Asylum? Won't be so funny then, will it? Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I greatly appreciate that. This video is insane. I hate YouTube. I hate TikTok. I hate social media. I hope it all gets burned down one day and the world ends and uh, I can be at peace. Wasting the time of the NHS is disgraceful, though. What a horrible individual. See ya.